Hello everyone, welcome to the first part of my tattoo uh, style videos for you guys. Um, what I'm going to try and do in these videos is explain basic little things for people uh, to maybe make it easier for you to, you know, uh, so you know, it's easier for you to do, uh, you know, easier for your tattoo artist to do, uh, and generally just make things a little bit easier for everyone, uh, make people a little bit more informed. Um, and I'm making this primarily because I get asked a lot by my friends and people um, you know, you know stuff like you know how do I you know how do I choose where to put my tattoo? Uh, you know, um, uh, where where do I get it? Like what shop? Uh, how do I take care of it? How do I choose what I want? Lots of things like this. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is make a couple of part videos. You know, like, I have no idea how many. I'm really just winging this first bit. Um, this is just like the basic things you can make a better informed decision. Um, and generally just, you know, have a better experience overall with it because I know there are a couple of people who've just gone out, got tattooed and regretted it quite recently, even a couple of people who have done it themselves or let their friends do it. Um, and this is the first thing I need to say, if just because someone has a tattoo gun doesn't mean that they're going to be a good tattooist. Um, I mean, you know, there was one guy, it must have been about this time last year as well, who was going into college, he was 16, uh, which is below the legal age in the UK, if he 18, uh, and he had tribal style thing off of his upper arm uh, and it looked absolutely terrible I mean you know it was it, quite, it looked like it had been infected a lot of ink had come out and it's just a basic black design tribal it looked disgusting and uh, we, me and him got talking so you know his eye tattoos um, and I said hey look, you know where do you get yours done it doesn't look that great I mean you know it, looks like it was infected was it and he said yeah he got infected a bit and my mate did it I was like, oh, if you made a tattoo artist, you should probably have known how to do it better. Because even, you know, with a, uh, you know, even with a tattoo gun, you should still know how to do a proper tattoo. And so the majority of ink comes in without, regardless of infection or anything. Um, anyway, so that's you know, my first bit of advice. Don't let someone do it. Make sure they're a professional. Uh, but this first part, this first part um, what I'm going to talk about is how to choose a design. Um, and I, I think that's probably the biggest and most important thing. Um, you know, it, it, there are, I think there tend to be a couple of different types of people when it comes to tattoos. The people who just want something that looks awesome, the people who want something that means something to them, and the per people who just want random stuff. Each to their own, obviously. I mean, personally, I like my tattoos to mean something to me. So, you know, I'm not going to go into a shop and pick something off the wall just because it looks cool, I'll pick something because it means something to me. Um, you know, I know a couple of people who have got things, you know, they've got like uh, tribal sleeves or, uh, or stars on their elbow. Um, it looks awesome. Um, and then, you know, I've met people who just sort of walked into the tattoo shop one day, picked something off the wall, and said to the artist, yeah, I want this done here, whatever. Um, each to their own, obviously, you know, no one can tell you what to do and what not to do in this. It's completely your choice. Um, but, you know, personally, because I prefer my tattoos to mean something, you know, I'm going to obviously be on that side of the argument. I'm going to say you should only get a tattoo if it means something to you. But, you know, again, each to her own. You know, a tattoo is a tattoo. It's yours. There's no sort of judgment anywhere apart from... Well, you know, there's judgment from everyone, but it doesn't matter. It's your tattoo, your choice. Um, so, yeah, choosing your tattoo is probably one of the hardest bits because... It is permanent, obviously. Um, so, you know, you want to pick something that you like. You know? That's, that's kind of the best advice. I mean, you know, um, some designs aren't going to be possible. I mean, you know, uh, obviously because of needles, they can only go to a certain sort of size. Um, you know, only be, only be so small or something. So you do kind of need to take into account it, it needs to be at least a certain size. Um, and ink spreads. But, uh, when they tattoo you, it will slightly grow um, over the weeks as it heals because the ink just spreads out naturally in your skin. Not by a lot, you'll barely even notice it, if at all. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. But choosing it is important. Um, and tattoos hurt. People need to realise that. Um, I've, I've had a few people who go in and, you know, oh, I'll be fine. And you know they'll start and like, oh that really hurts. What are you doing? It's like you said it would hurt. 
Now, obviously I'm not professional, by the way, it's easy to say that I'm not a professional tattoo artist, it's never done it myself, um, but I just get asked a lot so I'm doing these videos. Um, I think, so yeah, choosing a design is the hardest bit, I think, because you want it, in, it's going to be permanent, you know, you need it to, you know, be good. Um, so, you know, you need to choose something that you like, that is not the only advice I can give on this bit. Um, I mean, if you don't know what you want, like you have no idea, but you know you want a tattoo, I, I personally would not suggest getting a tattoo. Um, and that's because I, I have seen a couple people and people I've talked to, like, you know, in the shops and whatnot, or on forums or, you know, wherever, um, the people who tend to regret tattoos are the people who didn't know what they wanted, they just really wanted a tattoo, so they can say they can have a tattoo. And personally, yeah, I, I, I think that's the wrong thing to do. Um, I know that is also something that tends to annoy some tattoo artists as well. Uh, they prefer someone, you know, who at least has a reason behind getting a tattoo more than just that they want a tattoo. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and you know say if you if you know if you just want a tattoo but you have no idea what you just want some ink on your skin, don't do it. It's probably not worth it to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, that's one of the only things I can really say on that. Um, and, I, and I say that because, you know, obviously I have tattoos, a um, couple of my friends do, I know people who have got lots, who have got one, who have got you know, any number in between, um, and you know, the people who I know who have just gone out and just gotten something because they want it, they're more likely to regret it later on, um, particularly sometimes they tend to get them larger than, you know, perhaps someone who just wanted something small and discreet, you know, I do know a few people who just think, oh, I don't, I don't know, I'll get my upper arm and blah, I'll get a full, a full sleeve, you know, so that's the entire thing there, I'll just get that all done in like something, um, and because they kind of just do it because they want to say they have got, they've got a tattoo and show it off, which isn't really the right reason to be honest, um, so yeah, choosing a tattoo, you know, it's, it's got to be something you like, you can't just pick something, the chances, you can, you know, obviously everything I'm saying here, you can just go and do whatever you want, um, but I'm giving my advice, because I've got tattoos myself, I've got 17 now, um, I probably should have worked out the exact amount of hours I've spent getting them done, that might sound a bit more impressive, um, I mean, you know, a, a couple of my friends uh, who have got tattoos, their first tattoos, I've sort of done this for them, uh, you know, I've told them how to pick, how to, you know, pick a shop, how to take care of it afterwards. I've done all that sort of stuff uh, for them, and you know they've all been very happy with it. So it's one reason I'm making these videos, uh, so I can, you know, hopefully, you know, just give my advice to other people. If I get asked to give my friends, I can just send them these videos as well. Um, but yeah, so I mean, after you've picked your initial design, you need to pick a place for your tattoo, both a shop and where to put it on your body. Um, and we will cover that in part two. I hope to see you then. Bye.